morning, everybody, and we welcome you ringside. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we're just about ready for action. Chad Dawson's focus is front and center as he makes his way to the ring right now. Hopkins is coming to the ring right now. We know what he offers up once he's inside the ropes, but not much intensity here in this ring walk. Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. Well, they are underway, scheduled for 10 rounds tonight between these two. Bernard Hopkins is doing well here with that two-punch combination. A headshot blocked. He scored well after being hit himself. up in front of us tonight Teddy a power puncher against a guy who's very well conditioned now early on in the fight what do you look for out of the power puncher to take his power you know it's not just power it's where you distribute that power if I'm in the corner of the power guy I want to distribute it downstairs to the body no better way to sap somebody's endurance mentally and physically than going downstairs halfway through round number one Dawson's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. And just grabbing on to his opponent. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Chad Dawson's making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. Very accurate with the double jab. Able to dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Not getting it done with that straight right hand. Bernard Hopkins' pure aggression got to his opponent in that last round. He looks fresh. His opponent doesn't. You're not giving me enough punches, okay? Throw more punches. Jab, jab, jab. Oh, this is a wipeout. You're winning this fight. Just keep doing what you're doing, and you got this. Just... Just keep doing what you're doing. You gotta watch the water okay, just the keep boxing. You're doing great. You're making it hard for him to hit you. Here we go. Round two is underway. Keep working the body. Dawson's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. 
combination landing there. Oh, that's good stuff. Firing right back with one of his own. Good work by Chad Dawson. Combination to the head. Teddy, among the things that we're going to key in on here early on in this fight is the ability to go to the body. Very important because what it does is stops the ability of your opponent to defend the head shots. Takes away some of that head movement. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Halfway through round number two. Back to the body. Accuracy an issue there. Didn't land that straight right hand. Little head hunting with the left. Double jab upstairs. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Chad Dawson's punch is far off the target. Well, you can tell he's being patient, waiting for a countering opportunity. Teddy, what does he have to think about in laying that trap? All he has to do is think a little bit like I do at tax season with my accountant. <laughs> I don't want to go into that office. You know, my accountant's standing at the door. He's waiting for me to come in there. I don't want, I want a rebate. And that's what he wants. He wants a rebate. He wants a counter. He's stepping back and he's waiting for the guy to come to him. So he's the one who gets his way. Keep the jab pumping and throw the lead right hand, all right? And you are winning this fight. Keep circling, keep circling, keep circling. Don't stand in front of it. Listen, he reaches it. And round number three is underway. Not there, straight right hand off the mark. Focus. And now he's targeting upstairs. Bernard Hopkins is able to avoid that punch. Dawson's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, Use land both jab. punches. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Chad Dawson. Chad Dawson's giving us something to think about early on in this fight here, but his opponent has even more to think about. He has established the jab already. Yes, he has established the jab, and now his opponent has to think about moving his head so he can get past it. Bernard Hopkins is coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Dawson's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. Combo lands upstairs. Good step back counter punch there. Ten clicks of the tuck. That right hand over the top lands flush. Hopkins' this combination punching is working well here. And that's the end of round three. Go to the body, then to the head. Then finish to the body. Go. Yeah. Look, you're standing straight up. Use that body. it that's it i need another round like that just like that all right you're doing good just keep it up deep breath for me you're in control of this just keep it up all right nice work 
Start of round number four. Easy scorecard to put together. Hopkins is up three rounds to zip. And Teddy, he's been carrying this fight because he's just simply been the more active guy. Yeah, nobody's really landed a lot, to be honest. But when one guy is a lot busier than the other guy, he wins the rounds. Dawson's work in training camp is now paying off. Do you see the accuracy and the effectiveness with that combination? He gets rid of that effort. Chad Dawson's not throwing the power punches, Teddy. What would you say to him? Well, first of all, I would say to him, what do you think, that he's going to make a deal with you? If you don't hit him hard, he won't hit you hard? No, no, it doesn't work like that, my friend. He's going to get confidence now. He's going to take advantage of this. Hopkins' is right move. hand working well that time. He scored well. Halfway through round number four. Locks a shot and then lands an uppercut of his own. Well, he missed that right. So dangerous with that accuracy. A two-punch combination landing. He just missed that shot up top. Dawson's right hand scores well that time. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. All right, all right. You are dominating this fight. Keep it up. Just keep doing what you're doing. Okay, you're doing good. You're doing good. Just keep it up, all right? Very good, very good. You need to compromise on his mistake, okay? I want to see that counter hook. Round number five has arrived. Dawson's now got to figure out a way to do exactly what he did in the last round here at the start of this round. Yeah, and his opponent, hey, his opponent has to say here, you seem to forget that sometimes, Joe. His opponent has to make sure that he doesn't do the same thing he did the last round. Able to show you his blocking ability. Guard your head. Dawson's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. There's a nice left hand able to get in. He has walked through bullets bazookas and bombs and he's still standing in there tonight teddy yeah this is a testament not just to the physical makeup i know a lot of people at home are going to say wow what kind of bone does he have inside that chin but it's his mind too he's making a choice just like you do in life and other things he's making a choice to deal with this a lot of guys would have given in already needs to improve that accuracy missed with the headshot Doubling up the jab now. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Right to the head with that right. Got to try to do better than that. He missed with that hook. Right to the body. You need to keep the head moving. Hopkins' corner knows the situation here. Yes, we're up in a close fight, but anything can happen that can turn things around and go against us. Hit the body.
to say. Just, 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 just keep it up. Just keep it up. That's it now, all right? It's a nice work out there. Just keep fighting smart, keep busy, and don't take a break with this guy, you hear me? don't need that, I'm gonna throw that away. Here we are getting ready for the second half of this fight as we've reached the sixth round. Get after him! Dawson showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Blocks that punch. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to then land the counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. Bernard Hopkins is showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Able to dismiss it. Halfway through round six. Sykes Dawson's done. doing well here with that two-punch combination. Bernard Hopkins' knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is to block. He did it there well. Not able to land the headshot. Hopkins is... Oh, Teddy, this has got to drive his trainer crazy because he's leaving himself wide open with these sweeping shots. Well, you talk about that old saying, leaving the barn door open and the horses are going to go out. Well, guess what? The punches, sooner or later, they're going to come in. Bernard Hopkins going old school there. B-hop with your basic one-two. Hopkins is impressed. Oh, and he got caught right there. Everything was going fine, and then he got caught. Well, that's the problem. It was going too fine. He got a full sense of security. The other guy wasn't throwing back. He took for granted, and bang, you can't take for granted in this ring. Listen, you need to move your head more, side to side, OK? I want to see that head move more. This is done, he's done! Hopkins is back. Look at him here in the start of this round. Remember, he got tagged hard in that last round. Well, that's the reward you get when you have a good camp and you get yourself in top shape. What a great job! He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Chad Dawson. And now he's targeting upstairs. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Move your feet. Dawson's putting forth a great combination there. Good solid shots with the combo downstairs. Bernard Hopkins' defense is paying off now. Halfway through the seventh round. And now you can see him zoning in on the target with that double jab. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Hopkins is showing a great ability to adjust. Wow! Oh, and he goes down for the first time tonight. Bernard Hopkins likes to control things. Right now, this fight may be out of his control as he rises up to beat the count. Hopkins is doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those punches away. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. A little double jab to the head. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. 
Good job protecting himself. Almost done. You had him that round. You're in control. Next round, let's keep busy. How you doing? You keep your hands up. Don't worry now, right? I just I need you to focus and keep your hands up. Keep working the jab, okay? Double up the jab and just keep moving. You okay? Good. I need you to use your feet, all right? Move around and... Teddy's scorecard has now a little bit of separation. Dawson's gained an edge. It's been the past few rounds that has put him in that position, Teddy. Yeah, and he understands what it means now, what time it is. It's time to pull ahead. It's time to be special. It's time to stand up and be counted. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Oh, they both land flush with uppercuts. Now this is, oh, he is stunned. He could go down. <laughs> Uncle Mo has come to visit. Momentum is now on his side. That's why you can't let go of that steering wheel when you're driving. You know, all of a sudden, bang, you're in the back seat. You're not in the front seat. You're not in the driver's seat Let's anymore. Let's see some more head moves. Get out of the way. Not much action as he just ties up. He is not in good shape. He could be on. Oh, that's got to hurt. Bernard Hopkins, the victim of a solid power shot. Hopkins goes down. One, two, three, four, five. And somehow, someway, he's going to continue on here. And if he's going to stay in this fight, now he's got to avoid his opponent like the Black Plague. He missed with that headshot. Keep your head moving. A well placed left hand up top. Chad Dawson's combination punching working out well there. He landed three solid. Mind. Oh! He was just bulldozed right there. One punch knockout power ends this fight. This fight is now over, and Teddy, it was obvious right from the beginning which way it was going to go. Oh, yeah, what a tough guy. He took so much, but he took too much. The only guy tough is his manager for taking this fight. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.